Hi, I'm Dan Brewington, and this is The Gringo Show. Why is this called The Gringo Show? That's something for another video. But this story is about my journey into Tesla. You see, I'm a Tesla newbie. Um, I didn't get into, I didn't even know about Tesla, really, until about 2018, and then I started looking into it, and by the time 2020 came around, I was determined to get a Tesla. Well, we ordered a Tesla on December 4th, 2020, expecting to get it in, in January of 2021. I'll tell you, <laughs> that didn't happen. Um, our journey was one of, of great frustration, I would say. Um, getting your estimated delivery dates changing continuously. I mean, we went from January 21 to March 21 to April 21 to September 21 to October to November. And then in October, we got a phone call saying, if you go from the seven seater to the six seater, we'll make sure that we have it to you by the end of the year. End of 2021, still no car. Well, now it's towards the end of February. Um, it's February 21st at the time of making this video. And I got something yesterday, <laughs> which was absolutely amazing. Um, I got on my phone, I got a message saying I got a VIN and that my delivery date will be between March 2nd and March 6th. Yay! That's exciting. Um, I've spent all of this time trying to figure out about Teslas because I don't know anything about them. Granted, I have driven an X, I have driven a 3, I have driven a Y, um, I, I had I had an X for an entire week, thanks to my friend Kate. Thanks, Kate. Um, but I know nothing about Teslas. Um, I've watched loads of YouTube videos. You can ask my family. I think they're pissed off at me. Um, I think my wife thinks I have a problem. I, I don't watch porn. I watch Tesla videos every Tesla video on YouTube. Uh, some of my favorite come from, uh, there's a guy out in Chicago, uh, Tesla owner's perspective. I like him. Uh, Ryan Shaw, he's another really good one. Uh, Rich Rebuilds, not so much Tesla videos, but I do like what he does. Uh, Wham Bam Tesla Cam, that's one of my favorite. Every, every Sunday I watch them. Uh, it's Kim Java. I've uh, been watching her for a couple of years. Um, she had a Model X, sold it, getting another one. And then, of course, Derek, uh, David and Eric, uh, who they do a couple times a month, they do a live stream about Teslas. They got loads of videos about Teslas. Um, I learn a lot from them. Um, so, yeah, I've watched every video I, I, I could imagine, uh, every Model X video um, that I can find on YouTube. Now, I have to say, I'm kind of pissed off with so many Model 3's <laughs> videos. I don't care. No offense, Model 3 people, but I really want to see the Model X. So lately, there have been more Model X videos coming out, um, and I just want to throw my hat in the ring uh, and show you my experience as a newbie. I mean, I, I know very little about this car physically. I mean, I'm book smart on it, but we're going to have to put this into practical use and, and, and try to figure this car out. So I figure I'm going to document it. Um, I guess the first thing I have to do is clean out my garage and make some space because my garage is a mess. Let me get to work on that. Whew. Okay. Well, uh, I've been trying to clean up the garage. It has been filled with my family stuff. I don't know what it is about my wife and kids who just want to fill up my garage with stuff. Anyways, I think this spot should fit right over here. I think I can fit it in here. 
I will, of course, move the ladder or the snowblower and miscellaneous crap, but I've made a good start. From what I understand, and this is from numbers that I'm getting from offline, what is it? 198.3 inches long, which is what, 16 and a half feet? And it's 80 inches wide. So I think I'm gonna have enough space. And then I think right behind me, see, I'm not now, I'm not gonna get the full on uh, Tesla charger. I think I'm gonna put in a dryer port here. I forget what they call it. I'm gonna have to look it up, NEMA something. I think I'm gonna put that in. The reason being is we're renting this house. We moved here. Uh, so our sons can play football at the local high school. So, you know, this isn't our permanent house. I, I don't want to put that in. I mean, I'm sure it's movable. You let me know what I should do. But I think the the NEMA plug, you know, the like the dryer plug, same dryer plug. I'm going to get one of those installed. And that should be good for now. I have enough space. It's under cover. I think this is going to work. I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out when I get it. I think this is going to work. All right. Well, I'm almost done with the garage. I have to move some more things out for donation, but I have the space. Next up, I'm going to have to figure out um, the electrical. Again, I got to get that plug put in because I want to charge at home mainly. That's If you have any suggestions, um, Leave a comment below um, and let me know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to peruse some more um, YouTube videos, see what I can find out there. And when my Model X Long Range gets delivered, I am going to do videos from a newbie perspective. I know there's loads of you out there that know everything about Teslas, and that's awesome. But there's a segment of us out there who know nothing. And we're learning and I guess that's what my videos are going to be about is me learning making mistakes figuring things out and just exploring the world of EVs because I'm really excited about this my personal opinion is that your daily driver should be an EV I mean there's no reason to have a gas car uh, and, and trust me, I, I have a 2015 uh, Dodge Challenger SRT with Scat Pack. I got a 2017 um, Chevy Camaro SS. Um, I have a, a, a 2019 Jeep Sahara. I have a 2019 um, uh, Ram uh, 1500 Limited. I, I, I'm, for all those people who love dinosaur, uh, you know, fossil fuel cars, uh, I was going to say dinosaur farting cars, but... <laughs> Um, you know, gas cars. I'm a gas car person. This is my very first EV. I'm pretty excited about it from a daily driver, especially seeing gas here in Colorado at like $3.13, $3.15. Filling up my truck is over a hundred bucks. If I can save that and pay maybe 20 for electricity, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? So I'm super excited. I'm going to walk this journey. I'm going to document it. I'm going to get some help um, from other Tesla owners. And uh, there's some YouTube creators out there that I'm going to reach out to and, and ask for help. Um, and I would like to thank the ones, like I said, you know, uh, Tesla owner perspective. Uh, it's Kim Java, Ryan Shaw, um, uh, Wham Bam Tesla Camps. And, and of course, Derek and Eric. I, I want to thank all of those YouTubers for all of the information that they put out there because it's absolutely amazing and I have been I'm grateful um, that they've put that information out there they've kept me sane over the last 443 days from the day that I ordered it, uh, it well it was 442 days until I got my VIN uh, and, and fingers crossed my estimated delivery date is between March 2nd and March 6th so when I get it I'm going to start posting those videos uh, about me learning uh, about Tesla and learning about EVs. Uh, and again, your comments are welcome. 
Uh, I look forward to it, uh, and I hope you join the join me on the journey. Peace.